played you a few notes of the so-called Hungarian minor scale. We're going to examine seven minor scales and we're also going to examine the altered scale or the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale known as the altered scale. This is for those metal players who like to play in drop D. My guitar is in standard tuning but I'm going to use the root of the D and over that uh, from a D to an E flat I would play uh, Phrygian mode and I chucked in uh, the raised seventh and what am I talking about so I'm talking about the scales that heavy metal guitarists enjoy we're going to start with the sixth mode of the major scale which is known as the Aeolian mode but the relevance to this lecture is it's the natural minor scale in intervallic terms now remember if you don't understand what i'm talking about go back to my channel i've got lessons on all these things anything you don't understand just go back type the word and it should come up all right so here we go we've got our root the d note second flat third fourth fifth flat sixth flat seventh So, we traditionally play that over a minor chord, D minor. Root, second, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat sixth, flat seventh, root. In other words, flat three, flat six, flat seven is the natural minor, the intervallic um, notes or the intervals relevant to the D major scale those are one two flat three four five flat six flat seven back to root okay then the next one that you guys enjoy you'll recognize the sound where I add the raised seventh note you recognize that Explain what I just did now in a moment. Right, that's the um, harmonic minor. We are ra add the raised seventh. The raised seventh is merely the note below the root. That's D, C sharp. That's harmonic minor, and I know you guys love it. Then the third minor scale or in this case mode it's the third it happens to be the third mode of the d major scale is d phrygian which you play over a chord progression traditionally like where there's a d to an e flat the flat second chord to the, the root of d Flat two, flat three, flat six, flat seven is the intervallic structure. Right? That's the third one. The fourth one is Phrygian dominant. You might recognize this. Very dark sounding. Fancy name, but pretty simple. Root is merely. The Phrygian mode with a major third as opposed to the minor third. Phrygian mode, root, flat second, flat third. Phrygian dominant, root, flat second, major third. And then one, two, three, major third, not minor third. Going into the next octave there, the F sharp note, the major third makes it phrygian dominant that was the fourth minor scale i've shown you now i'm going to show you an exotic one the gypsy scale you might well know the name i just need to look at my notes so you add you merely add the raised seventh the major third and you make the seventh a major seventh so here we go it's a combination 
combination of harmonic minor and Phrygian mode, if you look at it that way, the raised seventh from the harmonic minor and the flat second from the Phrygian mode, and there's our root. Now note what happens here when you play the scale. Hopefully you observe it and you saw that. On the A string, I'm starting at the raised seventh, the C sharp note. There's three notes in succession, half, half tones or, or half steps away from the raised seventh. And same on the. You got that? On the G string. So on the A string, then you're dealing with the, the gypsy um, scale. So on the A and the. of Phrygian and um, harmonic minor. That's how I remember it. The other way is that that's in the next octave. But you'll know what to do with the stuff, but you know the theory behind it. That's important. Flat seventh, flat second. Flat second, rather. Um, there's the raised seventh, or major seventh, as it becomes. You, you just go figure it out. Raised seventh to the root, major seventh to the root. Think about it. That's all it is. Then we've got a fancy, another fancy name. The six minor scale is the Hungarian mode. Now this one merely uses the flat fifth or the devil's note. Or the blues note. So you'll enjoy this because it's got a one, two, three. Starts like a minor, one, two, three, or flat three, minor third, and then the flat fifth. Flat five, five, flat six. Major seven, root. that fancy one, Hungarian minor. Note the three notes or no, half step or semitone apart happens on the D string. I started to bring in some Phrygian, you could argue there, because hey, I played this that second. You combine these scales and you'll get that magic that you're looking for. Then the altered scale, which is also known as the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale. Now maybe I should start with melodic minor scale first, which is simply root If you know D major scale, but it's a combination of minor and major scale because here you got D minor, and then I play that's the first three notes, then I go play four, five, major six, seven, eight, melodic minor. Now, when you play the seventh mode of the melodic minor. It sounds like this. Everything's flat. Root, flat two, flat three, four,
10 minutes. You now got eight scales. Seven of them are strictly minor scales. The eighth one, the altered scale, is like a combin. The, the eighth one I'm calling in this case the melodic minor scale is like a combination of minor. Major, yes, major. Yes, melodic minor. It's the only difference between major. I hope these little tips help you. Now, really, um, without shredding, I'm just going to try and throw an arpeggio in here for E major, D major, C major. So something I've been practicing the last two days. I'll see how I go. This one, I know, but at least I'm trying. I urge you to do as well. So all I'm doing is the uh, E bar in the A bar format, the E major chord, D major. see that one gives me a bit of problem because I'm coming off the second fret on the A string and I've got to hit the B note the, on the seventh so second and seventh fret so you might want to try it with me and learn these things I go lower, you see I struggle because of the frets are wider, huh? and that's the challenge. But um, takes a lot of repetition. You see, because I've got to get my funky out there to the seventh fret. Not a bad idea to just hit. something I've been working on if you watch my channel but hopefully it whets your appetite just to um, to get outside your uh, traditional you know your traditional five note minor pentatonic in this case a minor pentatonic and blue scale and then um, get you into some arpeggios like I'm trying to break outside the box so thanks for watching um, I, hope, I hope you found this stuff useful and I wish you well with your shirty and hopefully this makes sense thank you got a call to make